What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks MLB Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys three picks, get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks in the MLB tonight. We have some day games going on, but I'm going to be giving you guys three picks from the later games so that you can get these picks in. If you enjoy the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out, and I'll be helping you guys out with these MLB videos for free all MLB season long. We got other sports going on as well. Um, bunch of stuff going on over the premium. We got the WNBA launching. I do plan to be producing content for that as well. We do have, do have the NBA going on. Uh, the WNBA, I'd like to be getting that content up and going as soon as possible. It uh, looks like I have Tuesday circled on the calendar because that's going to be the first time that the starting times are all at night so I can actually get the content out and people can get these picks in. Uh, the starting times have been varying all over the place. Like, for instance, today, uh, MLB, we do have some, obviously, day games going on. So I do have a bunch of picks going on from the day games. If you haven't checked out the premium content, that is linked below in the description. It is patreon.com slash kjk underscore dfs. Uh, but like I said, I'll be giving you guys three picks from the later games uh, so that you have time to get these things in. So uh, without further ado, let's talk about it. If you haven't uh, checked out Price Picks, once again, you can use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. Take advantage of that free money offer. Start winning some money on these picks today. So first game that I would like to discuss is going to be this uh, Boston Red Sox-Arizona Diamondbacks game. This game comes in with a 9.5 over under. It is going to be played in Arizona, and I do have a lot of interest in the Red Sox bats uh, specifically because Zach Davies has been less than stellar to uh, start out the season. So we will go ahead and break that down for you as far as all the reasoning as to why I really do like these guys here um, tonight. So uh, first thing, Zach Davies, his Sierra has been terrible. So I just kind of talked about it. It's been really struggling out of the gates. You look at his Sierra, he's rocking a 4.78 Sierra 4.2 ERA, only an 18% K rate, a 10% walk rate. These are all obviously uh, very bad things. 30% hard contact rate as well. And then you look at the splits as far as uh, Davies is concerned and how he's been faring. Once again, not good. Uh, specifically against lefties, we have a 17 at bat sample size. Now, obviously, it's early season. We're still getting a sample size in these guys. But I have found that going ahead and capturing that early season data has uh, been kind to me so far as far as what to rely on for the last two, three years, whatever. The pitching seems to be way down. I don't know if it's the pitching clock or what's going on in the MLB. Uh, but regardless, Zach Davies, a 450 Wobo with a 200 ISO versus those left-handed bats with a 17 plate appearance sample size. And uh, the Boston Red Sox do have really solid lefties at the top of the lineup in Yoshida and Raphael Devers. Yoshida rocking a 207 ISO with a 347 Woba, only an 11% K rate to go along with a 6.1% walk rate. Um, Zach Davies only walking those lefties at 11.8% clip as well, which is good for us when we're targeting hitter fantasy score because obviously we would prefer for the ball to be put in play. And then Raphael Devers, same thing, really good numbers against right-handed pitching with a 234 ISO. 315 Woba, only a 19.4% K rate uh, for Mr. Devers in this one as well. And they're going to be able to hit in Arizona tonight. We're breaking down the ballpark as far as Chase Field's concerned. Really, really good stuff there as well, specifically to those left-handed batters. You can see uh, on the right side here as far as right field to those left-handed pole hitters. Um, great for triples, great for singles, average, on-base percentage, slugging, Woba, runs, all the above. And it is friendly as far as those home runs are concerned as well. Um, so these are all obviously really, really, really great things for us here to be targeting um, Zach Davies on this slate tonight. And then when you go ahead and break down the uh, expected run total, that's also going to be really good uh, because the Red Sox do have one of the highest implied totals on the entire slate. We'll go ahead and pull that up here for you guys as well. Um, they have the third highest implied run total on the entire slate with a 4.94 implied run total. So um, Red Sox are expected to put up a lot of runs here. They are the away team as well, which is something I always like to target when I'm targeting overs on hitter fantasy score because no matter the score, they will get those guaranteed at bats in the top of the ninth inning. Obviously, the more opportunity, the uh, better for us to hit that over. So um, Yoshida, Raphael Devers taking on Zach Davies with that high implied run total, 4.94 implied run total for the Red Sox. I think that's a great two-man stack to uh, start this video off today. I do think they're going to have some great success. We already kind of talked about the numbers, but against that right-handed pitching, once again, Dever 232 ISO, 314 Woba there, uh, you can see on the season. And as far as 
uh, doesn't look like the data has been sunk up here actually on Yoshida on this quick little pull-up page, but I already pulled it up on the in-depth analysis um, as far as earlier. So uh, pick number one, we'll start with the guy in the two spot here for Mr. Uh, Yoshida, and we will be going with his hitter fantasy score over here on prize picks. Uh, for pick number one, if we can find him here, he's right here with a 7.0 hitter fantasy score. Uh, which, by the way, is a pretty friendly line for a team with such a high implied total. Typically, when a team is getting up there around five runs, you know, you're looking at at least 7.5 hitter fantasy score over here on prize picks. Um, so that's certainly something that we are not going to complain about. Uh, for Yoshida, he's hit this in, it's pushed once and twice of the last five. The last five doesn't mean anything in any sport, guys. Don't really look at these charts, but especially in baseball, every matchup's different. Um, it's not really always the best thing to look at, but. Uh, pick number one, we're going with the over 7.5 hitter fantasy score for uh, Yoshida. And then pick number two, we'll go with his teammate and Rafael Devers. Just talked about it. Um, Davies has really, really struggled against left-handed hitting. The Red Sox are on the road. They have that nice 4.94 implied run total. It's a nice hitting environment for those left-handed bats. Uh, these are all great things for us uh, here on this slate tonight to be targeting. So pick number one, Yoshida. Pick number two, Rafael Devers. Both going with the over hitter fantasy score for a nice little two-man stack there for you. And then uh, pick number three, we're going to kick it on down to this last game, late game, uh, between the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Angels. This one's going to have first pitch at 10.07 p.m. Eastern time, so late game out there on the West Coast. And we want to talk about the nice talent in Shohei Otani. Guy's an absolute stud. Uh, we will go ahead and pull up his numbers here for you guys uh, to give you an entire breakdown of why we really do like him in this spot tonight. Uh, but absolute great case stuff for uh, Shohei Otani. No surprise. Second on the entire slate. Tyler Glass now hasn't had a large sample size this season, but Otani featuring a 34% K rate overall with a 15% swing strike rate. Really, really good stuff. And he gets to take on a Miami Marlins squad tonight that has a pretty high K rate versus right-handed pitching uh, on the season. We'll go ahead and go hitter by hitter here. As far as Miami's concerned, start from the bottom left. Typically, the top of the lineup guys are going to have a little bit of better K rates because, you know, more contact, better hitters overall. Uh, but when you get down to the bottom with Davis, 22%, 25, 23, 12, 29, 28, 26, 17 at the top. So a lot of strikeouts throughout this entire, my, entire Miami order outside of uh, U.S. Guerriel and Luis Ares. But outside of them, a lot of strikeouts to be had. And uh, Otani's K stuff has been phenomenal, featuring a 33.9% K rate against those left-handed bats and a 35.4% K rate against those righties. We talked about the swinging strike rate as well, 15% swinging strike rate. That tops the entire slate. Um, guy has elite, elite strikeout stuff, and I think he has a pretty friendly line, honestly, today on his strikeouts. I was a bit surprised to see where it's at. It's not a push number, which is something that I always like to target as well. Uh, obviously, on price picks, we don't really want to be pushing. We want to be winning. That's always the goal. And... Um, Certainly do think we could take advantage of uh, Mr. Otani's K-Prop here today for that reason. Uh, they got him at 7.5 over here on prize picks. And I think there's a really, really solid chance he's able to go out there and get up uh, A-plus strikeouts in this matchup against Miami. We just talked about it. Tons of strikeouts throughout the order. Um, the last five starts aren't going to be working on him because he does hit and pitch. But we can go ahead and pull it up for you guys here as far as uh, just the recent form for Otani. Just so you can get a visual. But regardless, I, know, I already know I like this play. Um, regardless of his recent results, just kind of can go ahead and break down the pitching count, all that stuff that we like to uh, talk about real quick before we wind up the video. Um, Otani, last start out, racked up nine strikeouts on 99 pitches against a Twins team. Time prior, had five strikeouts on 98 against Baltimore. Not a good outing for him. Time prior, 13 strikeouts um, on 108 pitches. I believe. Or, I'm sorry, that was seven strikeouts on 103, and then 13 the time before. So, Guy has a ton of strikeout upside, obviously. Uh, it's been a little bit inconsistent for him uh, as far as on the season's concerned for his type of talent, I will say. Uh, he's been a little bit up and down, but this Miami Marlins squad should treat him well with all the high strikeout rates throughout their order. Um, just kind of broke it down and gave you guys those numbers, so I think this is a phenomenal spot for Shohei Otani to clear his K-prop. Uh, for pick number three, we're going with the over 7.5 strikeouts here for Shohei Otani. And uh, that will be my... Three picks uh, to get you win some money over here on Prize Picks in the MLB tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. 
Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It's free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out. I'll be helping you guys out with these MLB videos all MLB season long. Once again, the premium content, we're already launched up and going with WNBA. We got MLB going, NBA, all the above. Uh, I do expect to be seeing some WNBA content from me here soon. I know a lot of people enjoyed that last year. Um, just getting some more sample size and also the starting times have been all over the place. Like 1 p.m. It's a little bit hard to get a video out. Uh, but like I said on Tuesday, we should be able to do that for you guys um, due to the fact that all the games are starting late. So we'll have some WNBA coming up on the channel here soon. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your prize picks MLB player props tonight. And we will see you in the next one.